Here in this video, we're going to see how we can make a simple ROI selector by using this OpenCV function called select ROI. It's a very amazing function. It allows us to manually select a region of interest in an image. So we, have, we are reading this image called as color.jpg and we are read and saving this into this variable called im and just the variable is being reading the image and then storing it into this variable called im so that's all we're doing in this function once we read that image we will use this function called as select roi to create that region of interest that bounding box in that image that we are interested in so opencv has this function called roi select roi and it will open up a new window where you can select the region of interest using your mouse so we'll see in a little bit how it looks like and once the mouse, once you drag and select the region of interest, it will store those coordinates into this variable called ROI. And ROI would be, the output of this would be an array, an array of two points. And the point would be, if you think about a square or a rectangle that you're going to be creating, the top left corner of the rectangle will be saved and the bottom right coordinate or coordinate of the rectangle will also be saved and will be saved in this variable called ROI. Once the variable is saved, you just simply go ahead and print the variable so that we can see how the ROI is being selected. And once we have this, now we're interested in creating a cropped image of that. And we're going to be doing that by using this command by creating and just letting OpenCV know that we are interested only in the image or only in those pixel values of the image that are represented within this ROI. And we do that by providing this function. So you're uh, letting the OpenCV command know that you're interested in the Y in everything between the Y coordinate ROI of the top left coordinate of the square and the bottom right coordinate of the square, which is given by this. So we are using the Y coordinate of the top left corner given by ROI of one and the bottom right coordinate of the square given by ROI plus ROI of one plus ROI of three given by the Y coordinates. And then we do the same thing for the X coordinates and the X coordinates are given by ROI of zero for the top left corner and ROI of zero plus ROI of two for the bottom right coordinate for the bottom right x coordinate so we do that and then let uh, opencv know that everything between these coordinates given by represented by the colon is going to be selected from that matrix and then save it in the variable called im cropped once we have the im cropped variable we just display it onto the window using the im show command and we are naming the window as cropped image and we are supplying the image variable I am cropped. Once we display, we use the CV wait key in order for the I am show command to run properly, without which the I am show will not work. So we'll go into the command window and see how this works. So we'll run Python select ROI. Mm, I think I'm in a different window and I will create open into CD tutorial and now we're in the command into the same window right now so we'll select we'll run the python select roi.py and we select so it's running the issue we're running into this issue that select roi and the reason it's running that is because i accidentally did not activate my virtual environment so let me go back and run the virtual environment so i am going to run the virtual environment by creating a running source virtual environment open cv activate once i'm done with that it runs the open cv virtual environment here so it, you can see that this has come up so it's i'm now in the virtual environment now i can safely run the application python select roi.py so the moment you run it 
creates this window called as a ROI selector. And it's a simple and easy window. It comes up all, uh, by itself. And it also gives out these instructions under the command window by itself. And it's all part, part of the open series select ROI IM. And you can now select the ROI. So it gives this instruction that you can uh, start creating the ROI. And once we are done, we either press space or enter. But if you don't want it, you can always press the C button and then cancel the ROI selection. So what we can do is now, since I'm, I'm interested in this region of the image, so I am going to click the mouse and I just drag this region. And once I know this is the region, this is the region that I'm interested in, I just leave the mouse button and it will create this bonding box on the image. And if I, and once I'm sure about this, just press the space button, it will automatically create the variables and the points of interest in your ROI. And using these points of interest, we're going to create this cropped image, which comes out here. So this is now we know that yes, the open CV ROI selector has, has obtained the variable and has created the bounding box and now is given the region of interest. So this makes it very easy for the creating region of interest, the, especially because normally if you if you are interested, you would have to provide the coordinate of this top left corner. You have to provide the coordinate of the bottom right corner manually by understanding the image and understanding the pixel and the width and the image height. So it's, it, it's a very cumbersome task if you were to find out the pixel values of these two corners manually. But OpenCV provides this amazing function of select ROI and it allows you to uh, select the ROI manually by using your mouse, which makes it very, very easy. It is a function which is vi very widely used in object tracking applications and does definitely something to use. So if once you have done with this, you can just simply press the escape button and it will close the application.